Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video ay uh, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-solve uh, ng work problem. no? And this is the fifth of the video series natin on how to solve work problems. No? So maganda panoorin nyo yung uh, simula no? hanggang sa fourth kasi medyo complicated na itong part na to. So kung kaya nyo namang isolve ito at kung kaya nyo pakinggan ay okay din but uh, I suggest or I strongly suggest that you watch the other videos no? and you watch them chronologically. No? Sunod-sunod dapat para mas maintindihan nyo. No? Yung part 1 natin ito, yun yung pinaka-konsepto natin na paano ba nabubuo yung equation. So I think that is a very important video. So, okay, so start na tayo. A swimming pool can be filled with water using an inlet pipe in 6 hours. It can be emptied using an outlet pipe in 8 hours. One day after emptying the pool, the owner opened the inlet pipe but forgot to close the outlet pipe. How many hours will it take to fill the pool with both pipes? Medyo mahaba ito. Medyo maliit yung pipes nila. No? Matagal, matagal, uh, matagal ito mapuno or may empty. So I don't know kung if this is uh, re ano no, realistic itong problem na ito. But anyway, so for uh, napag-aralan natin sa mga previous uh, videos na kung ang uh, something can do the work in 6 hours in 1 hour no? in 1 hour or siguro maganda in 1 hour we have 1 6 siya kasi in 6 hours so this is the inlet pipe so ibig sabihin kung 6 hours siya matatapos in 1 hour 1 6 pa lang ng job yung kanya natapos ibig sabihin 1 6 pa lang ng pool yung kanya uh, napupuno no and oh, of course yung ating uh, outlet no outlet pipe natin ay uh, 8 hours kanya niya na kumpleto no na empty yung pool therefore in 1 hour meron siyang 1 8 um 1 8 of the job is finished or 1 8 of the pool is emptied so in 2 hours Siyempre, mag-2-8 ka dyan, di ba? Maging, mag-2, oh, sorry, 2-6. Andito naman ay maging 2-8. And 3 hours, no? uh, maging 3-6 and minus 3-8. No? And of course, hindi naman natin alam. Actually, we are looking for for uh, the number of hours. How many hours? So in x hours, how many um Kung napansin nyo pala, no? how many uh, or how many hours will it take to fill the pool with uh, both pipes open? So, nag, uh, yung 2 over 6, nag-times 2 lang tayo nito, no? Nag-times 2 lang tayo, nag-times 3 tayo, at times 3, nung 1 over 8, tayo 1 over 6. So, therefore, pag tayo ay nag-x hours, magiging 1 over 6 times x na lang. Siguro sulat ko ito ng ano para mas malinaw, no? Ng times 2, tsaka times 3. So, dito magiging 1, 6. Kasi sa 1 hour, 1, 6 siya, di ba? 1, 6 times 2, magiging 1, 8. Times 2. And then ito magiging 1, 6 times 3. And then 1, 8 times 3. No? Kaya siya naging 3, 8, tsaka 3, 6 kanina. So, since hindi natin alin number of hours, we can, we can uh, let x be the number of hours na open yung dalawang pipes. Plus 1,8x. Ah, sorry. Hindi siya plus, sorry. 1,8x. No? Pero ano ba nangyayari? Habang fini-fill nitong uh, inlet, yung pool, uh, ini-empty naman siya ng outlet. Ibig sabihin, namamainus nama natin yung, ano, di ba, yung volume. So, kung nag-fill ka ng 1,6, tapos binawasan mo ng 1,8, tila na natira. Pag nag-fill ka ng 2,6, binawasan mo ng 2,8, tila na natira. So, pag nag-minus tayo, kailan siya mapupuno? Yung 1 dito, sa equation natin, yun yung representation na puno na yung pool. No? And we have been studying this in the, the previous videos. So, kung, alam, kung gusto nyo alamin kung saan ang galing yung 1, pwede nyo panoorin yung, uh, uh, ano natin, yung first video, yung part 1. So, meron na tayong equation. So, we have 1, 6, x minus 1, 8. 
x equals 1. And again, we get the LCD of the fraction, 6 and 8. We have uh, 24 yan. No? So, para sa mga uh, nakalimutan na paano ba kunin yung LCD, we have 6. Uh, we get the LCM of 6 and 8 and the LCD of 1, 6, and 1, 8. No? Huwag kayo malito, yung LCM yung, yung dalawang numbers. Yung LCD, pag pinag-usapan naman natin yung fractions. So, LCM of 6 and 8, first we list the multiples of 6. We have 6, we have 12, we have 18, 24, uh, 30. Ah, tama. And then we have uh, the list, or the, the multiples of 8, which are 8, uh, 16, 24, 32, and so on, no? And yung pinakauna na lumabas, yung pinakamaliit, no, yung 24, it's natin siya na list kasi pinakamaliit nga siya na common dun sa dalawang mga uh, uh, multiples ng 6 and 8. Kaya siya tinawag na LCM of 6 and 8 or the least common multiple 8. So pag nakuha natin yung LCM, ang gagawin natin is to multiply everything by the LCM or 24. Magiging 24 times 1 over 6x minus... 24 times uh, 1 over 8x equals 24 times 1. 24 times 1, dito minong dibilin natin, everything by 24. So 24 divided by 6 times 1, that is 4x, minus 24 divided by 8 times 1, that's 3x equals 24. 4x minus 3x is x, and then equals 24. So, ibig sabihin 24 hours. 24 hours, we need 24 hours to fill up the pool. Kasi, kasi nga naman, ano, no? butas nga naman siya dahil nakabukas yung outlet pipe. So, imbis na 6 hours lang, naging 24 hours siya. Okay? So, uh, I think that's the answer and I hope pero kayo natutunan dito sa ating series. Uh, hindi pa ako sure kung susundan ko ito no kung may nakita akong problem na medyo kaiba dito sa limang ito ay uh, pwede ko pang dagdagan ito but uh, as, as of now siguro um, this is it muna. No? So abang-abang lang siguro kayo. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial. Invite po kayo sa sipnayan.com and if you want to subscribe to my channel dito sa baba ng video merong subscribe button dyan. Pwede kayo mag-subscribe para pag nag-post ako ng bagong video ay may inform kayo sa inyong email. Maraming salamat and see you!